The minute we first became aware of this crime, a sexual assault, we have worked virtually nonstop, every day, every night, seven days a week, trying to solve and resolve this case. You're looking at 36-year-old Nathan Sutherland. He's behind bars tonight. Police believe that he is the man who raped and impregnated a 29-year-old intellectually disabled woman inside Hacienda Healthcare. That's right. I'm Tramai, everyone. Caribe has a night off. Phoenix police say the suspect's DNA is a match with the baby the woman delivered last month. We have live team coverage on our big story tonight, beginning with Team 12's William Pitts, who has more on who the suspect is. Nathan Sutherland is really none of the things you would expect. He's a Haitian immigrant. He's been an LPN for years, and he's a Christian rapper. This is a world away from Sutherland in jail, accused of raping a disabled woman. His other persona, a Christian rapper. This is video from 2011, a YouTube interviewer with Sutherland and his sister talking about growing up in Haiti. My, uh, my uh, parents actually, they split up in Haiti and then um, I remember my mom couldn't take care of us so she uh, brought us to an orphanage. Business records show Sutherland has been in Arizona since the 90s and even tried to start a charitable organization to quote, show Christ's unconditional love by responding to the spiritual and physical needs of the homeless and developmental disabled. According to the filing, he planned to call it Life in You. There's no evidence that organization went anywhere. But Sutherland had been a nurse for a decade. No complaints with the state nursing board, only a traffic ticket on his record. 12 News obtained divorce records filed by his wife on December 5th, 24 days before the baby was born. Phoenix police say Sutherland's DNA matched the baby. Sutherland was not arrested at Hacienda Healthcare or even at home, but at his lawyer's office. Counsel? Thank you, Judge. In jail today, that same lawyer said Sutherland, Sutherland maintains Judge the cops General got it wrong. There is no direct evidence that Mr. Sutherland has committed these acts. Um, I know at this point there is DNA. Mr. Sutherland will have a right and have his own DNA expert um, as well. We don't know the specifics yet, but the evidence is minimum. Hacienda Healthcare sent a statement saying that Sutherland had passed an extensive background check before being hired, but was fired as soon as they learned of his arrest. William Pitts, 12 News.